date, it's seven years, seven years since the killing of Cecil the Lion in Zimbabwe in Hawangi National Park. Seven years of shame that the cruel trophy hunting business continues. Would you agree? Yeah. That particular lion caused outrage around the world because a dentist from Minnesota tried to kill it with a bow, failed. It took 18 hours to track it down in the bush and kill it with a gun. That lion generated tens of millions of dollars in tourism. It was part of a University of Oxford research project. It was protected. It was killed illegally. And it was just an example of the cruelty, exploitation and greed of trophy hunting. Would you agree? Yeah. And seven years on, seven years on, this government has promised again and again that it will ban trophy hunting. And Boris Johnson has constantly let us down. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. No more promises, no more commitments. Just bloody well get it done. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. There is no place in the modern civilized world for taking a wild endangered species like a lion or an elephant or a rhinoceros and killing it with a gun or a bow so you can put its skin on its wall or you just bring back a head and you can say how big and how proud and strong you are. It's stupid, it's cruel, it's evil and it must end. Would you agree? This industry breeds corruption. This industry is built around cruelty. It does not help local communities. It's not going to help conservation. The only people benefiting are the safari companies, the gun makers, and the corrupt government officials giving permits to allow American dentists to wipe out lions across Africa. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. We are a caring, compassionate country. And we want to show the world that we can ban the imports of trophies here. And then Germany, France, Italy, across Europe, US, everywhere in the world should do the same. Wouldn't you agree? Yes! There are less than 30,000 lions left across Africa today. And if we continue to kill them at the rate we are, we will be the last generation to see these amazing predators in the wild. Do any of you want to see that happen? Yes! We have a responsibility to share this planet with these incredible wild animals. We do not have the right to exploit and destroy and kill them for our perverted pleasure. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. And it's not just about trophies coming in from Africa. It's also about the use of bare fur hats in the British Army, which is also a disgrace. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. There is no, no case for killing black bears in Canada by trophy hunters and for British taxpayers to pay for their pelts to be made into fur hats for ceremonial purposes, for the Coldstream Guards to stand on parade, for the Queen, will you agree? Yeah. There is a good fake fur alternative that's been made available to the government, free of charge, save us taxpayers money, save bears, end cruelty, get it done, will you agree? Yeah. And it's not just trophy hunting in Africa and other parts of the world that matter. We need to see the end of killing of stags, deer, goats on private estates and islands across this country. We don't want foreign trophy hunters coming here killing our wildlife either. Do you agree? Yeah. So an end to trophy hunting at home. An end to trophy hunting abroad. An end to the use of bear fur for British Army hats. That is the least we should be doing as a caring, compassionate society. And we should show the rest of the world that we're not going to rest until we get that done. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So Birmingham today, Liverpool, London, wherever it might be, we're going to keep up this fight. We're not going to be silent. We're going to get this done. We're going to stop the exploitation and destruction of wildlife. We are going to be the generation that passes on the care for these animals to the future and not destroy them. That's what we will do and that's where we will end this. Thank you.